Welcome to the Fieldview Hints series of videos. In this video we're going to mount a DVC 6200 on a sliding stem valve assembly. Before we begin, we urge you to read and follow all directions in the included installation instructions. If you do not have these instructions, please reference our quick start guide or the instruction manual online at the web address at the bottom of the screen. Before performing any maintenance operations, always wear protective clothing, gloves, and eyewear. Please follow all site requirements for safety. For the mounting kit, it's a good idea to do some sub-assemblies ahead of time. First we have a connector arm, an extension arm, and the feedback array. We want to put these together and just get the screws snug. We don't want to over tighten them. Another sub-assembly that can be done ahead of time is to add O-rings to the three bolts which hold the DVC 6200 onto the mounting bracket. The O-rings hold the bolts in place and keep them from falling out. Install the O-rings just about a quarter of an inch onto the bolts. Now before we can uncouple the actuator we need to take some of the actuator load off the plug. Because this is a 667 Fisher actuator, it is spring closed. We're going to add some air to the actuator and make sure the valve plug moves up off the seat. Once it's off the seat, we'll overcome the force of the spring and balance it with air pressure. We're going to install the connector arm and then check our adjustment. Do not tighten the coupling bolts very tight because we have to adjust the feedback array in three planes. Now to find the proper spot for the array, we're going to use our plastic alignment template. The plastic alignment template goes onto the mounting bracket. We've got the mounting bracket attached. Next install the template on the mounting bracket and verify that we have the array in the proper location for its side to side adjustment. This looks pretty good. Also this is a spring down actuator so we're going to have to take note of this for later on when we adjust the array in its up and down plane. We can remove the bracket and tighten the two coupling bolts now that we have this aligned from side to side. We've already adjusted from side to side now we want to do the up and down and front to back. I'm going to turn this around so you can see it a little better. We'll take the Phillips head screwdriver and we'll tighten it up so that the bracket is nice and square. Next we'll bring the extension arm and bring it right to the back of the template. Notice I'm not forcing the alignment template forward. It's nice and flush with the mounting bracket. Now what I want to do is make sure the bottom white line in the array is adjusted above the white line on the adjustment template per the drawing on the template. I'm going to loosen these two screws and move the array into the proper location. Now go back and ensure that all four screws are tightened appropriately. I'm going to stroke the valve and make sure that it stays within the white lines. We start with this at the bottom. I'm going to give it full air and notice that we're within the white lines of the array. We have the array in the proper location. Remove the air from the actuator. The next step is to attach the DVC 6200 to the mounting bracket. The three bolts that we put the O-ring on are used for this. Now we're looking down at the array on the back side of the DVC 6200. Verify there's a nice equal spacing in between the array and the channel on the back of the unit. We're going to stroke the valve up and down and we're going to make sure that we do not have any clearance 
or interference issues. We should also check from the side. The DVC-6200 has a Hall Effect sensor right here in the back, and you can see it in this area. We want to make sure the sensor lines up and we don't go outside the white lines on the array with valve travel. The Hall Effect sensor is in the same location as the white line you saw on the plastic template. We're going to stroke the valve all the way open and closed, making sure that we stay within the white lines. You can see we could make an adjustment if we needed to, but it looks like we have the array in the proper location. We have now successfully mounted the DVC-6200 to the sliding stem valve assembly.